We'll laugh and we'll play and seldom frown. We'll make new friends and learn a lot. Come follow me to this happy spot. Queasel Town, Queasel Town. You pick me up when I'm feeling down. Queasel Town, Queasel Town. It's where Welcome to Queasel Town. I'm Debbie Clement. This is the land of my imagination. It's full of all the things I love. Color and pattern, singing, music, dancing, laughter, and learning. When I'm fortunate to work with teachers and parents, I talk about four basic R's. The first R, letter R, that I think of is the R for ritual. When I work with children, I do things in the same way, the same way, the same way. Each time the children see me, I start the same. We begin with a welcoming song. It's my belief that first we have to start building a sense of trust between ourselves as teachers and parents and the children. So we establish that trust by making things very predictable and having a ritual. My second R that I'd like to share is the R for repetition. I repeat things over and over. The scientists tell us that it's through repetition that we learn. And four times is the magic number. I think you're wonderful. I think you're marvelous. My song, Wonderful, You're Wonderful, in sign language, we start with the sense of a ritual and affirmation and building trust. I think you're wonderful. I think you're marvelous. I think you're beautiful and magical and filled with curiosity and dreams. My third R that I talk about with staff and parents is the R for rhythm. Scientists have proven that a child who has a sense of the rhythm and the beat is the child who has later capability wired up here in their synapses in their brain uh, where we can easily learn the letter combinations and the number combinations and how we can then be successful readers and work easily in the world of math. That particular song I wrote with a sense of delayed gratification. As soon as young children see a picture of a lion, they want to roar. But I'm going to ask them to wait, wait to roar. Lion, listen for that roar. <laughs> So the first time through, we're focusing on that sign language and the beat. Every time they hear the instrumental track, I want them to match their body to the beat and then add the sign language and later add the letter recognition and the words. Jungle starts with the letter J. And so we initialize tree with the letter J for jungle. Lion, listen for that roar! The fourth R I would use with staff is the critical importance of rhyme. Calamity Sam is who I am. I got brave on my bike and I crashed with a wham. Calamity Sam.
They've noticed, they've studied, they've learned that children who have the phonological awareness given in rhyme are those who are most successful at reading. And as I work with staff and teachers and parents, I want to give them lots of examples of how to make that rhyme concrete in the minds of young children. Now, with VAC attack, I'm thinking in terms of three letters. The V, standing for visual, the visual learning preference. A, standing for the auditory, auditory learners. And the K are our kinesthetic children. And so for Goldie Goldfish, we've got all three. Visual, the visual learners are watching as I make faces and as I invite them to swim along. The auditory learners are listening to the contrast in the music styles. As first we start off with a slow waltz. And then the contrast is when Goldie begins to shake. And we've got some up-tempo rock and roll. And those children are invited to shake along with Goldie. presentations and teacher workshops are high energy, uplifting and motivational. We focus on brain research as we sing, dance, and learn sign language together. My songs and picture books provide a bridge between singing and reading. Participants leave empowered to make a difference in their world immediately, and the lives of children are enriched forever. I always end the same way. Thank you for singing today. Queasel Town, Queasel Town, you pick me up when I'm feeling down. Queasel Town, Queasel Town, it's when Spotted hound dog and the old furry house catching the tiny.